Now let us discuss about FCFS disk scheduling algorithm. We know the advantage of scheduling algorithms. Scheduling algorithms decides the order in which the jobs are to be executed. FCFS means first come first served scheduling algorithm. So the job which has come first will be served first, will be executed first. Let us discuss about FCFS disk scheduling algorithm with the help of an example. So here totally 200 cylinders are given. Consider a disk queue with requests for IO2 blocks on the cylinders. So these are the cylinders 98, 183, 37, 122, 14, 124, 65, 67. So those cylinders contains uh, generally the cylinders contains data. So now our target is we have to access the cylinders in this order. If the disk read write head is initially at the cylinder 53. So initially read write head is at 53. So from 53 cylinder onwards we have to move to the corresponding desired cylinder. So find total head movements. So here our target is we have to find how many total head movements are needed. Okay. So totally 200 cylinders are given. Uh, so we have 200 cylinders from 0 to 199. So initially we are at 0 cylinder and the last cylinder is what 199. So totally 200 cylinders are given and initially read write head is at 53 cylinder. So let this is 53 cylinder. Uh, next we have to uh, move to the cylinder 98 from 53. So let 98 is at this location. So we have to read that cylinder. We have to read the content on that cylinder. So 53 to 98. So next we have to find out uh, total head movements. So simply we have to subtract 53 from the 98. So 98 minus 53. So this is the first operation. So next one. After 98 we have to access 183. So from 98 to 183. So let 183 is at this location. 183. Okay. So 98 to 183. So here what is the bigger value? 183 is the bigger value. So we have to subtract 98 from the 183. Suppose if we subtract 183 from the 98, then it will give what negative value. But here the total head movements are must be a positive value. So we have to subtract minimum value from the maximum value. Okay. So 183 minus 98. 183 minus 98. So next after 183, we have to access 37. So let 37 cylinder is at this location. So 183 to 37. Okay. 37. So what is the operation now? Subtract 37 from 183. 183. Next plus. Next what is the next cylinder? 122. So next again we have to move to 122. 122. So let 122 cylinder is at this position. So we have to subtract. Uh, now we have to subtract uh, 37 from the 122. So 122 minus 122 minus 37 plus uh, plus next after 122 we have 14 cylinder. So let four let we have 14 at this location. Next again we have to move from this 14 to 122. 14 to 122. So next subtract 14 from 122. Okay. 14 from 122. Next to plus plus for space constraints, I am arranging this portion. Next to 14 to 124. 14 to 124. Let 124 is at this location. Next to from 14 to 124. 124. So subtract. 14 from 124. Next after 124 we have 65. So let 65 is at this location. So 124 to 65. So 124 minus 65. Okay. Next after 65 we have 67. Let 67 is at this location. So simply do the subtraction. So 67 minus 65. Okay. If you observe here. 
Initially, read write head is at the location 53. So 98 minus 53. Next 183 minus 98. Next 183 minus 37. Next 122 minus 37. Next 122 minus uh, 14. 122 minus 14. Next 124 minus 14. Okay. 122 minus 14. 124 minus 14. Next 124 minus 65. 67 minus 65. So if you do the subtractions and additions, then we will get 640. So totally we need uh, uh, a head movement of 640 cylinders. So this is about uh, FCFS discrete scheduling algorithm.